Samantha, <laughs> rule breaker. Okay, now time for a little football talk Ooh. on this Friday. We call it soccer. Uh, lots of excitement around the newly named pro team that will start playing next year in the city of Portland. Yeah, the sport continues to grow around our state and another main team is getting ready. It's home opener. It's tomorrow. Our Sam Rogers joins us live in Portland with more. That hey, is Sam. a beautiful field, by the way, Sam, that you are standing mm. that's right behind you. That's a fantastic looking field. Yeah, you know, Lee Goldberg told me this morning that he made a lot of memories and created a <laughs> legacy here at Memorial Stadium okay, in Portland. Did you find it? Hold on, I did not, I did not say that. Can we? <laughs> I, I, I've I been looking evidence. around, Lee. I can't find it. They might have scrubbed it <laughs> off the wall, but <laughs> let's take a second and talk about some true high-level athletes because <laughs> Main Footy, a women's pro-am team, is in its second season. They will take on Worcester Fuel FC tomorrow night at 7. Now the Pro-Am Club allows college-age players to develop their skills over the summer, but this team has a mission to do so much more. Shot, and it's saved by Mantoni, but headed in! And a goal for Maine. Even in just a two short weeks, we've made a lot of improvements. Maine footy competes in the league United Women's Soccer. Half the roster is made up of college-age players from Maine and New Hampshire, or athletes like Colby's Kaylee Quinn, who play at colleges in those states. Clearly it's a pretty high level environment, so that was something that I just wanted to be a part of to continue to push myself. The rest of the team is from away. I'm from Lebanon, a small country in the Middle East. I go to Mercyhurst University, um, obviously from England. Safia Paraiso and Nora Nuge came to Maine to improve, but to also give back and encourage the next generation. And um, overall increase the level of soccer in Maine. I think that would be very rewarding for everyone. That's why it's so new is because we have the ability to really empower and uplift these young girls, especially in the community of Maine where soccer is up and coming. Besides camps and clinics, the team mentors young athletes in areas that don't always receive as much attention. Like mental health, nutrition, leadership, confidence. It's just so important to have the emphasis on older women being able to lead these younger girls in areas that aren't as focused on. Main Footy is the only like team who's really involved in the community. Webinars and other resources are right on the team's website, providing opportunities that these players say they wish they had when they were younger. It's a model that we haven't seen until recently. Which they say will only grow, especially after more wins. And that's the plan for Saturday's home opener. It should be. It should be good. It should be good fun. Now, if you can't make it to tomorrow night's game, Maine Footy has three additional home games for the rest of the summer. All of them will be played here at Memorial Stadium in Portland. Now, to find ticket information, register for those camps and clinics, or find webinars and other resources, the team's website is mainefooty.com. Live in Portland this morning, Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.